Take the money and run. Steve Miller Band. This is an awesome song to strum out with. And um, this is a lesson for a four string and a three string CBG. I'll show you the different parts. We are tuned to an open G. The low string's a G. Next string is a D. Next string is another G. And next string is a B. All right, I'll show you a few of the chords. We only have, I think, four chords in the entire song. Uh, they're just, um, and actually the intro, the verse, and the chorus is the same three chords in the same riff they're just picked a little differently and then we have a little two little chords for a little turnaround to separate all of them all right first of all let's see we'll go to the third fret we're going to hold that you can play the uh i generally just hit the d string and the low g string but you can hit the upper g string if you want so we're just going to um strike this a sharp chord and we're going to be playing an F chord in two different places a lot. So we're going to take our index finger on the second fret on the upper G string. <coughs> Middle finger on the uh, third fret on the D string. Pinky on the fifth fret on the low G string. And all three of those together as a chord. And on this chord, we don't want to let the... Uh, uh, B string ring out, so just mute that with your index finger. And we're going to play an F chord like this. We're going to take our ring finger on the third fret on the D string, middle finger on the upper G string on the second fret, index finger on the first fret on the B string, and all three of those together as a chord. Okay, we'll just leave our index finger on the first fret on the B string, <clears throat> and we'll take our middle finger on the uh, second fret on the D string, and we're going to strike the uh, upper G string open, and those three together as a chord is a C chord. Um, let's see, what else are we going to do? Uh, I think that's, uh, well, we're going to do the open G. And we'll strike all of those, either three string or four string, open. And we'll play that C chord. This C chord is for the four string players. And for the three string players, we'll play that C chord um, up here. On the 5th fret, we'll hold down the uh, low G string, the uh, D string, and the upper G string. Uh, mainly, I just hold down the uh, D string and the low G string. But that's up to you. Okay, uh, this is real fast strumming. And we're going to start out strumming the... Uh, Open G. We're going to go to that F. Or if you want to play the F right here for the four string players. Um, and then we're going to go to that C chord. Um, and we're going to, while we're playing that C chord, We're going to strike the, if now you can do this if you want. They never strum 
there's two guitar parts going on, they never strum uh, it the same at any given time. And most of the chords in the original song is up here playing on these little two note rock and roll chords. Um, but we don't have those to play, so we're going to strum them. Uh, so we're going to uh, hit that D string open. And then we're going to hammer on if you want to. I did it with the same note uh, finger I'm playing the chord with. And we're just going to hammer on onto the uh, second fret on the D string. Strike the D string open and then hammer on. And then go back right back into that open G. So just going slowly it'll kind of sound like this. So, and we're going to do that four times. And at the end of that four, when we go back to that C, we're going to strike it twice. And right here is where we're going to do that the little two chord turnaround to go into the chorus. So, we're going to strike that A sharp I showed you. Just hit it one time. I kind of just, I don't really, I really don't strike down here, but I just kind of, rake it up to that A sharp because in the original song they're sliding into a lot of these chords and some we can and some we can't. So I just kind of and then we're going to strike that uh, F chord right here. And then right back into the uh, open uh, G. So, and each time, the fourth time when you go in, like I said, the, the intro, the verse, and the chorus is the same riff. So, on the fourth time when you go back to that C, just remember to strike it two times. And do that little two chord turnaround thing right back into the G. <clears throat> and it does that at the end of every four, whether it's the, the verse or the chorus or whatever. So, um, okay, well, I'll show you the um, chorus now. So we do four of the verse. Actually, do we do four of the verse, and do, we do a and four more of the verse. So we do two verses first. This song is really quick. Um, it's not even. It's like two minutes fifty seconds. It's almost three minutes long. It goes by real quick. So um, we're coming out of the uh, second verse. That little turn around. We go into the uh, chorus. Now when we go to the C here, we're going to hit that F chord up here one time. And then we're going to hit the C chord, F chord, real quick like this. And then right back into the um, G. For the uh, three string players, you'll want to hit that C chord right there on the fifth fret. And I'll just hit the D string in the low G. I hit it with my ring finger. And if you want to do it like this, if you figure out another way, awesome. But if you want to do that right there, you can you can hit this little two note uh, F chord right here. You'll just take your index finger on the uh, third fret on the D string and your pinky up here on the fifth fret on the upper G string and just hit those two notes as a chord. So you're playing the um, C 
with your ring finger. You'll strike that as a chord. If you want to do that part. So, <clears throat> all right, I'll play a couple of, or I'll play the four, or I'll play the turnaround. Going into the uh, four part of the course. So, here we go. to the uh, next verse. And it's the same as the first uh, verse part I showed you, so there's no difference. Now, we're only going to do four of those. Now, when we go into the second chorus, it's going to change a little bit. We're going to start um, striking and raking the strings a little faster. So basically, we do the little turnaround going into the um, second chorus. Now, when we do the um, open G, we do the F. Whether you're playing it right here or you want to strum it right here, we do the F. We go to the C. We just hit it. A Two or three times, and we're going. We want to start raking the strings real quick. Then we're gonna go right back into the G. we do on the fourth time we want to do that little turnaround now right here we're going to really rake the um, strings and I don't I don't and during this part I hit the C up here I don't hit the C right here so coming out of that second chorus raking it at the end we're gonna start raking the uh, now on the open G I'll just do the the D or low G and maybe the uh, upper G, but I'll, I'm going to rake them open real quickly. I'm also going to mute it towards the bridge. I'm not do I mean, you can let them ring out open if you want, but we're going to rake them. Then we're going to rake that um, F chord right here. Then we're going to come up and rake that C chord. We're going to rake all three of those chords. When we go, when it starts over, we're just going to, we're going to strum the open G again. We're going to hit the F again. We're going to hit the C. And then we're going to rake the C again. And right back into the um, G. Until we do that four times and then do the little turnaround again. Right back into the um, verse. And the, f the song fades out right there with that verse riff. So, um, <clears throat> I'll play through the, uh, uh, the turnaround going into that second chorus at where you, you start doing the uh, fast strumming, raking the strings at the end of that C chord. Going into the, uh, the quick strumming for the open G and the F and then the uh, C chord up here. Um, 
I'm hoping I'm going to get through it, but my wrist is really messed up from practicing this all day, doing this raking, but... All right, here we go. One, two, three, four. So yeah, that would be it. And for the three string players, you would just um, gotta do the same thing right there. Just rake all those. And yeah, that's the entirety of this song. It's a really quick song and just practice that raking part right there. I usually do that a lot more smoothly, but you know, I've been working on this lesson all day and yeah, I'm more out from playing it. But it's a really cool song to jam out on and as always, um, this lesson you can play along with the original song and be in tune with it. So have fun with this and yeah, I'll get back soon with another one. Thanks for watching.